morning, guys. The health inspector just came to do his checkup. We're a little frazzled, and we're like, there's no reason to be. We're fine. Like, he gave us the good to go ahead. We just needed to get some more paper towels. Produce should be here any minute. I was gonna show you guys what a big produce order looks like for us. Typically, every other week, we kind of do a huge restock, so this is that week. We're getting lots of pomegranates, lots of fun things I'll show it to you guys. Um, normally, when we get a big produce order like this, we go through and clean out the fridges, uh, double check on older produce, make sure nothing's moldy. Sometimes things can get a little weird. Um, wow, look at that timing. We still have pears up here, right? Okay, we're gonna do a little full time lapse and then I'm gonna clean the fridges out. I'll show you guys kind of what I do. And we'll rotate in the new stuff and rotate out the old stuff. We got a lot of stuff. Paul just told us that they were out of pomegranates. These are different carrots. It always says bananas. Anything that's gonna get juiced today, I'll just put in the produce sink over there and kind of get it out of the way. And we'll go through like these old boxes and condense them down into smaller boxes and then we will clean the fridge out get some room to work clear the station Emptied. I need some hot soapy water and just wipe it out. Time to do this fridge. We keep our like herbs and lemons and fast grab things that we need here. We still have two pumpkins. Any produce that made it from the week, I like to go back and just kind of move it around, make sure that it's getting some airflow. Nothing really lasts long around here. Uh, we buy our ginger in a bigger quantity and our beets in a bigger quantity, but really that's it. Now we gotta take all the lids off of these and then break them down. And then we like to like cut them so we can just easily access the veggies. We don't have to take the box out every time. Between unloading and reloading and transport, once things start to condense and then like uncondense, that's why we open things up so they can breathe. Otherwise, if they're sitting like in an airtight bag um, and they're getting back, going back to temp, there's going to be a lot of condensation stuck in there and that can really lead to a lot of mold. So we're always just double checking that everything has really good airflow and that things get moved around before they go bad. We don't want any product waste or anything to go to waste. These things are gonna be a nightmare if you cut them to clean up. They're full of like, they're like a packy thing. Working on stuff in the new year's plans. Woo! Yeah, those are gonna look good with the hoodies. We have a really fun month of January planned for you guys. It's gonna be great. Game. 
goes straight into the fridge. You don't have to get the whole box. Always give your produce a good once over when you get it too. Sometimes the produce just might not ship well. Some stuff might look weird. Um, we're gonna contact our supplier about these cabbages just because they they just don't look as fresh or they were shipped uh, that well. So we're gonna give them a message. They might discount them or give us like half off of what they delivered. Produce should not arrive wet like this. It should be kept at a consistent temperature. have one big bag of carrots, lemons, kale, another box of apples. Kale always goes right there. I think we can fit the parsley. I think I can fit them in here. If I put them in my shell room. Mostly everything found a home. We still got some carrots to put away. This will all get juiced today. Parsley, cucumbers, lemon, and then stuff that we aren't using right away, like our extra apples and more carrots are just overflow up here. That wraps it up for today. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of a big produce order and how we handle it. We got some juicing to do. It is two o'clock and we still have a really busy afternoon to go, so lots of juice to make. We will see you guys on the next video. Merry Christmas! Bye.